Hey, I want to uh, share a little video with you. Uh, when you travel the way I do, it's certainly a, always a pleasure to run into a place that just lights your fire. And uh, this particular place I visited today, I wanted to share with you. It's called the Heritage Park in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, before I played the video, I wanted to do a setup for you so you kind of know what was going on. In this park, they have heritage buildings from all over Canada that sort of paint a picture from about the 1890s all the way up until about the 1930s, 1940s. It's called Heritage uh, Park. And if you get a chance and you're in Calgary or Alberta, you definitely ought to hit that park. They have a Ferris wheel from uh, years gone by. They have other rides that you would have seen. Uh, well, even in the United States, we saw in the Midwest for years. But one particular place that I went was the Hudson Bay a fort. They have a place there that talks about Hudson Bay and if any of you know me at all you know that I've always loved that pioneer stuff. I love that trapping and those great explorers and all of those folk and so I spent a lot of time there at the Hudson Bay area and uh, when I went in there at this one particular place the Hudson Bay headquarters where they had a place for about 20 trappers that usually stayed there then went back out and went trapping again and came back brought their furs back in. But while I was there, uh, there were two ladies that were interpreters, and they were not the interpreters for the man side. So they would interpret, they had a fire going, and they talked about foods they would fix for these men, these trappers. Uh, while it was there, they had a, a shaving horse. Now, if any of you know that, I've done videos on the shaving horse. Mostly shaving horses in Kentucky and West Virginia and even in Ohio, the old shaving horses were basically to make the shingles. Most of the time they were out of cedar. So cedar shake shingles that you made on the, but you made furniture legs, you made spokes for the wheels, all kinds of things on the shaving horse. They didn't really know what it was. So watch this video and see if you think I did okay. Uh, every moment is a teaching moment. You learn that in scouts, you learn that in outdoor education, that every moment can present a teaching moment. So if you will, watch and then we'll be back after you watch the video. Yeah, anything, anything small. Uh, I mean, one of those will fit, I think. You what can... about this? Would this be better? Oh, ah, yeah, that works okay. good. Yeah. So you're going to take this piece of wood, you're going to put it here, yep. you're going to put it on like that, and then yep. I'm going to shave this oh. down. I'm going to sit here and shave this down. Now, this is no, you don't get in a hurry. No. But, but the dumb head never moves. Oh. So that's why they start calling oh, people dumb heads. heads. Yeah. So you shave it down. You could make, they made furniture legs. They made, well, you look around, they made pegs. Of course. All day long. The guy would start early in the morning and would do this. Especially if people got real good at it. And you could make shingles. This is about the width of a shingle. And you set your shingle in there. You got to, yeah, the, the cedar shingles most of the time are poplar. And you've got to, you've got to get it level here so that it, it drips down. So it starts high and goes slow and drips to the next shingle. Really? So, so you they have were to shave, shave it down. Every, every one of them. Yep, they surely did. Cleaned wow. them up, made them the consistent on but you got a four foot snow outside, what else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Take your shavings, put them in a little sack and make your fire starters. Yes, yes. We, we do save the, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Evan was demonstrating this. He called this a shaving horse. Oh. Yeah, and he was demonstrating one day. I got a video of him. See, yeah. demonstrating. Yeah, he made the paddles. Yeah, he made the paddle. Yeah. And How then after the shavings, he gathered up all the shavings and he put them in the bucket. Exactly. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it sort of ends abruptly, but that was sort of a impromptu teaching moment. Those ladies were very, very kind, and uh, we've been talking a lot about the Hudson Bay area and uh, Hudson Bay activity of that company. 1670, I think they were chartered, and uh, they were throughout uh, the. Uh, we know that they were throughout the West, especially up into Montana. Um, Hudson Bay started uh, even into the East and then closed out in there in Alberta, Canada. So we've been traveling all through Alberta, Canada and uh, at the foothills of the Rockies and it was a great day today to do some teaching about the old shaving horse and the Hudson Bay.